Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world. This is Hajin Lee with a morning update. All right, things are looking pretty good, I think. Let's go from the micro counts to the bigger picture. Here you're seeing, you saw the vertical breakout. And you're seeing another, another smaller one occurring right now, bringing the price to 83.34. From a micro count on a wave perspective, I think this can be labeled as one, two, we may go to 8,800, three, four, Five. So that is the label that I would give currently for now. And if you look at the subways of this three, you can see five ways being put in there as well. One, two, three, four and five should end somewhere in the mid to upper 8,000 range. So I hope that makes sense. And this so the white ones are subwaves to the yellow. So one, two, three, four, and five. We should break nine thousand by the twenty-third or so. And this is if this is the trend reversal that we've been looking for, then this is a major move. It's bringing us far away from the upper white trend line. Now, this here was a lower low. So we need to consider that as well. So that really was a higher degree wave one. Here's wave two. And these were yellow, one, two, three, four, five is wave three. After that, we'll get a wave four. And a five, let me just squeak this over. And that's where we'll probably hit 10K plus. And then that'll take us into May. So I hope you can follow that. A little bit of messy lines. with that for now. So May, uh, in within May, if this is correct, one, two, three, four, five, it'll correct probably down to 8,300 or so, probably wave four maybe. And then the rest of May will be spent on putting in the next round of five waves at the degree of blue, degree of trend. Like that. But let's see if we can first do these microwave completions first. So here is the high, real higher degree of count where wave one Completed all the way back in February 19th. Wave 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, A, B, C, D, E, 2. And now we are on wave 3. And that blue wave I showed you is up to here.
so we can say sorry let me just bring this down a little more to make it there you go I'll leave five up here should extend that so that blue wave one will be here two three four and five I don't really have my degree of trend labels correct here anyway sorry so in effect we're putting in at the sub wave of one of three blue one of three and then once all of the sub waves of three are complete and i think three will actually be much higher probably up here now at what point will we break the eleven thousand eight hundred resistance which was right here That'll be broken by the wave three, blue wave three. That'll be the one that'll have enough gusto, enough mojo to just bust through it straight out. And that's in May, mid to end of May, after we get the correction, let's say. It'll bust right through, and that'll bring us to 16K or maybe even higher. And probably this will make an upward ascending wedge. Just like I presented yesterday. So we went from micro count to a bigger picture and show how the micro count fits in. And I hope you find this to be helpful. This is not an exact science, this is only a projection based on probabilities. But in effect, we really had two fractals two wedges when you get two bullish wedges it's like a twofer you get double the impact and the important thing here is we didn't make a lower low we did not make a lower low remember that w bottom i gave you the white w bottom guess what is happening It didn't, and the white W bottom was under condition that it doesn't make a lower low. The blue W bottom was under the condition that it made a lower low. All right, have a great day.